Hello and welcome back to Anywhere But Here, episode 286. My name is Tom. And my name's Ed. And you can find us at abhpod.com where, if you scroll down, you can find the Amazon banner. It's January sales time, so why not get those in? Uh, if you click on, go, like I say, go through our website, abhpod.com, click through the Amazon banner, do your shopping as you usually would, and we'll get 5% of that total basket at the end of it. We get that for free, it doesn't cost you any more, and it keeps us, it allows us to pay for our internet hosting. Yeah, uh, if you want to save a bit of time, once you click that link, just save that link as a bookmark um, and then you probably don't have to go to our website. Uh, that does work, I believe. Um, if you don't want to go, if you don't do your shopping on Amazon, not everyone does, uh, you can support us uh, on a more regular basis. One that we prefer, you get extra content that way, is through Patreon. Right next to the Amazon banner, there's a Patreon banner. Click that, uh, subscribe or support us on there. It's only uh, $1, one pound. I don't know what it is anymore uh, per month. Uh, and that's all we ask for. There is the option to uh, donate more if you wish on a regular basis. We, you don't have to. But for that pound a month, you get uh, extra content every time we record. So it'll be after the podcast podcast, uh, which is only for our patrons. Um, it can be our spoiler cast when we've seen a film. Uh, there's one in the pipeline, I believe. Mm-hmm. So yes. that'll be good. Uh, you get YouTube content a bit earlier when we record it. You get the main episode without the intro and you also get the bonus content in video form we record videos as we're doing it over zoom we put that out and that's just for our supporters as well indeed uh you can get in contact with us on there as well um but equally if you want to get in contact with us and you don't want to become a patron that's fine you can find us on twitter at abh pod you can find us on facebook.com slash abh pod and you can find us on uh youtube as well dot com slash abh podcast uh, there is also the option to email us if you don't like social media, abhpod at gmail.com. Mm. Uh, on this episode, it's the first one of 2021, so Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Uh, hopefully 2021 is going to be better than 2020, but who knows at this point, it's very early days. Yeah. Um, but we've got a very special episode uh, where we... It's been a long time coming. Cool, hasn't it just? <laughs> Something like two and a half, three years. Yeah. Um, we, we, we decided, well, we worked out anyway. Um, we are hosting with, uh, we, we've got Greg and Joe from the All Seeing Guys podcast on. At last. Um, at last. And this is a, this is a very rambly podcast because the four of us have wanted to get together for three years and there's been a lot going on this year, yeah. as we all know. So uh, again, it's kind of making a bit of sense of the last year, trying to figure out what's going to happen next year, including a very interesting throwing game. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's breakneck segues all the way through this episode. So do try and keep up, buckle yourself in. So enjoy. enjoy. Videos, <laughs> we're getting partners involved <laughs> did you see mate bill delphine who's been what live for what two two weeks is it she's already up to a million pounds a month on only a month yeah fucking mad god i wish i'd have for join us sometimes yeah <laughs> i mean you could you I mean, could. There's operations. So all sort of oh, right. I thought you were like talking about the top back. Yeah. Well, you only <laughs> want it, you, really yeah. confuse them. You only want it sometimes, so don't you see? You don't want to make the commitment to full time vagina. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to. Don't go full vagina, mate. <laughs> Never yeah, go, go full, full vagina. vagina. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I I've already got fantastic feelings about this fucking episode. So mate. do I. There's I, the I, woman on my uh, like Star Wars Instagram who does a fans only, but she's like, <laughs> I love that you call it a fans only. No, no, she fans. has one. She has an only fans, <laughs> <laughs> and she puts up pictures on Instagram. Apparently, she has a lot of followers, but it is just like oh, she's gone into a very niche market there of of fans that have. A fair bit of money uh, and and not a lot of actual vagina. Um, I'm so, assuming. A, yeah, rich a nerds. I, I really lot. slowed down there because I was like, "Am I going to offend anyone present with this comment?" Hey, I was going to say something about neck beards, but I can't because <laughs> <laughs> over yeah. over the Christmas holidays, it's sort of. 
Yeah, come on. It's, it's like, we do look like when you go into a barber shop and there's the black and white pictures of various stages of beard on <laughs> What would you like today? Would you like the end? Would I'm you like the Greg? The would you like the John? I walk in with Tom, but I walk out of a Greg, please. <laughs> I like it. Oh, God. Um, so Sorry. how has is, how is your guys' Christmases been in, in lockdown? Oh, you know. Uh, <laughs> Drunken? No. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's uh, it's it's oh, it's not been too bad. Basically, I I it was just me and my mum this year, so um, we yeah we kind of sort of you know did presents and everything, had a bit of food, and then I mistakenly made a giant sandwich and passed out about nine in the evening. In all honesty, so it was uh, wow, happy <laughs> It was this, all right. This this, this was going to be my question is because like we're all over thirty now. Are we all at the stage where we have the nap on Christmas Day now? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I felt out. like I should have done, but I didn't. I powered yeah. through. I went for a walk instead to sharpen me up for the second round. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> because it was, it was really cold, right, Greg? Because you were working, weren't you? It was very cold. Good point. Yeah, if you, if you yeah. had a nap on Christmas afternoon, that might have been a problem. It's <laughs> 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 a nap with a swab up someone's nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, I it definitely did. I, we were watching... The bloody hell were we watching? I can't remember. There was a film on TV. Oh. And I was just like <laughs> the film. I'm going for us. I'm going for it. I just disappeared upstairs, went for a nap. Snooze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you even left the sofa to hang on. No, I went up. I went straight upstairs and laid on the bed. Next oh, to the like, uh, hey. I feel like if you announce it though. On the bed. Kind of not right. in the bed. Yeah, on the yeah. bed. <laughs> It was a nap. It was a nap, not a proper sleep. So I was on the bed. <laughs> oh, oh, you were over the over the covers. covers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. That's fine. That's okay. No, yeah, I didn't get to do a nap. I was at work. Um, yeah. So yeah, but it actually was actually it was cold, but it was sunny. So mm. I was actually quite. I it was quite nice being out, like mm. to a degree. Okay. Mm. <laughs> quite nice being out bathing in the sun. Stood in a car park all day. Yeah. yeah. At least it wasn't. Doesn't, raining. doesn't it? Just you really just don't advertise this job greatly. You know, just standing because, in a car park all day. Yeah, but you are in car parks. <laughs> You get sent to various car parks over, you know, the London, well, beyond London now. (laughs) The London borough. And you just stand in car parks and, you know, make sure people... Is that your second book? (laughs) (laughs) Beyond the London borough. Yeah. Or car parks. The London car parks. Actually, if you really want to start my my job, it's more of a tour of going to Greg's bakeries. As soon as as you get to the car park and you, and you, you get all set up and you set up all the tents and the testing areas and stuff, You've got like, you know, maybe half hour to your open site and it's like, right, coffee. And you just all dart for the nearest Greg's and get yourself, you know, something hot to eat and a coffee. Set you up for the day. Yeah, how many festive bakes are we ordering today? <laughs> <laughs> I was in the uh, Greg's in Brixton yesterday morning at like fucking like half eight in the morning. Nice. And um, literally while I'm ordering my bacon roll and coffee, some, some woman walked in behind me and just robbed the place blind. And no Shut one, up. No one cared. She was just filling up a bag. <laughs> The guy serving me was like, like and then she just got up and walked out of it all. And I was just like, okay, why am I? Mean, I were well, you just like, why am I paying for this? Because <laughs> yeah. I want because they're clever. They have the bacon behind the counter. Uh, yeah, the they, got the little, they got the little hot my counter hand in the back. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's worth it. 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 <laughs> Save myself sixty yeah. p. <laughs> we we had something like that down here. I was going into a co-op down the road, and um, like there was just this bloke who'd come out of the co-op as we went in, tracky bottoms, absolutely bulging. <laughs> gifted like, man was oh, like, like, I thought you were just gonna be like with cock, <laughs> with cock. It might have been cock. It might have been elephantitis. He's just like <laughs> no, 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 it's my penis. I promise. <laughs> But yeah, I asked the I asked the guys behind the counter. I was like, I think that bloke's just walked out with like half your store down his trousers. <laughs> and they were like, There's nothing we can do about it. People get stabbed if you stop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes that, that occasionally happens. But give it yeah. a go at least. Not all the time. Let them bra- let them let them flash the blade before they. <laughs> 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 it's funny you mentioned co-op because as we were driving out of Brixton yesterday, how often you see this in like old American movies? We're at the traffic lights and somebody banged on the window for money. Like no. I was like banging on the window for money. Obviously, 
looking a bit rough, but was wearing a brand new co-op uniform zip up like fleece. <laughs> <laughs> Times are hard when you're working at the co-op. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's Fucking what hell. We were like, does he work in the co-op? Has he stolen it? I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> Sorry, mate. It's 2020 in COVID. No one's carrying cash. Sorry, I'm not mate. Sorry, mate. For this anything. is too confusing. <laughs> and then he wandered off to like, the next car, then the lights changed, and he's just in the middle of the road. <laughs> 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 like a scene from Greece when they're starting that fucking race. <laughs> Got his flags. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh. hell. Anyway. Yeah. Our, mate, our mate Daniel's son would be would be proud of you with the whole Greg's thing. He just released an album called Greg's. Uh <laughs> Genuinely, like, yeah, yeah, the, a the, fantastic the, album as well. The new album's called Greg's, and it's uh, it's it's an absolute fucking banger. Um, <laughs> no. Also, it his about Greg's. I think I've no, heard about uh, that. No, not at all. Um, uh, remixes as well. He like more yeah. recently, he put out a remixes uh, album, like uh, of the Greg's album, where other people have remixed twenty his songs. tracks or something. Uh, yeah. Did you see? There's a they they've done a Greg's Christmas jumper, and it's literally like the color the color of the logo, <laughs> and then just the logo right across it. It's sort of Greg's. festive writing. It looked really good. Yeah, but he um, I think his launch party he had or like celebration because obviously COVID. I think that he actually went to a Greg's and got like a buffet of fucking Greg's <laughs> pastries. Uh, he they did that. Really they did that for me at my old job once um, when it was my birthday. Um, they they kind of sort of clocked on pretty quickly that I wasn't really a fan of like sweet stuff. So to play it safe, they went to Greg's and got me a load of pasties instead right. of a cake. <laughs> That's great. But then they stuck candles in them, and then they just got covered in candle wax. Uh, oh. I was like, oh, I'm not. I'm not eating this. This is a. This is a disgraceful. Also, they got me the anti-aging <laughs> You have desecrated my patron. Yeah. Uh, Ruined my birthday. Is, is, Get out. It's a slanderous behaviour. <laughs> it's not slanderous. It's just, it's just bad. It's just bad. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, just man. Candle wax all over me, Greg's. <laughs> I had to pick it off the steak bake. It was fucking terrible. <laughs> Worst birthday ever. I was <laughs> yeah. annoyed. <laughs> I want every flake of that pastry. Yeah, it was only made slightly better by them getting me a bottle of Jameson's. Oh, <laughs> slightly better. I bet that wasn't for Greg. Slightly. <laughs> but yeah, did you, guys, I mean, um, did you guys see how far the uh, the Boris Johnson is a fucking cunt song got? Number five. No. Number <laughs> five. Mate. Really? Five in the chart. Number wow. five. It was number one on the Amazon charts and one of the other charts. I see, as yeah, well. I saw. I think like iTunes, it got to like number two. Yeah, I'm not yeah. too sure, but uh, yeah, that was. I, I, I listened to the song and I was just like, "This is really short, but it's also really great." Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I sort of wanted to avoid the subject, but did you see the 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 rather Trump esque quote from Boris the other day? We won't no. immediately send them down chimneys. <laughs> 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 so not immediately. <laughs> he is a fucking cunt, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with these people? It's just it's like so out of touch. touch. We won't immediately send the children down the chimneys. It's like not immediately. No. What? What the fuck? We well, obviously need to the chimneys wider first, so we can get more <laughs> down there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, That's he doesn't give a fuck anymore. I mean, he's out after Brexit's done, right? Like, so he, <laughs> he literally doesn't give a shit what he um, says anymore. He's been like right. a substitute teacher, basically. <laughs> yeah, they all have. That's all the, the kids. Thing. All the kids are running around the classroom screaming, and he's going, <laughs> "Yeah, just like it's okay. They like me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they love my irreverent." And it's like, although if only you knew, Mister Mister Johnson, the your back. We're all. It's okay because we got Brexit done. Sitting at you, <laughs> Brexit's done. They like I'd... me because I ride bikes. I'd love to know if he knows about the song, if he's been told. Oh, about he can't. Oh, I have, you have to. I mean, in a, in a world where the Queen actually watches the crown, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boris Johnson has to know, doesn't he? I can't wait till they get to present day in the crown and that's the storyline. <laughs> Is the Queen watching? <laughs> yeah. They just the turn the Queen into like a <laughs> It turns into goggle box, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But there's it will be like Inception because there'll literally be a camera over her shoulder. She's watching herself, watching the TV, watching the TV, the watching queen. the TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, it's that, it's gonna yeah, get that, so yeah. meta. <laughs> it just be cool. Have you seen how they betray you in this show, The Crown? Oh yeah. yes, darling, yes, yeah, 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 good, yes. <laughs> Fucking Jews. Um, <laughs> so done. <laughs> what will they call it? They'll just be called the royal family, won't it? 
Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. But it's spelled yeah. properly. But yes. I, hope they, yeah. I hope they use that Noel Gallagher song from the royal, from, <laughs> from the royal family as the intro. That'd be wrong with it. It's like <laughs> I would like to leave this city, and it's just like the Queen coming in, sitting down on the sofa. <laughs> like, then Phil comes in, like on, in an iron lung. <laughs> iron lung. Prince Andrew walks in with his Pizza Express <laughs> holding like an eight year old's hand and then just doubles back. You're like, oh shit. Philip will either be in an iron lung or he'll crash through the oh, window in a land rover. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Philip? Crash rolling through. Prince Edward, my ass. Half the world away. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Too God. good, too good. Prince Andrew would uh, right, Nancy boy. Yeah. Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Fuck me. weird seeing like him in the crowd, like the young Andrew. And then he pops up in a couple episodes mm. where he's like, Ooh. Yeah, yeah. No, he's actually quite likable, which is inside. horrible. Yeah. Is Andrew the yeah, yeah. yeah, he's the RAF one. He's the one who turns up in that's a they, helicopter. That's how they get yeah. him. They're a likable person. They, you get all comfortable, and then boom, he's inside you. That's how it happens. <laughs> they kind of did it with Sir- in series three. They almost made me start liking Prince Charles. I was like, I feel yeah, for Prince yeah. Charles. I feel for him. Nah, and then he became a cock. season four, yeah. and then you're like, oh fuck this guy. I was gonna say like, watch <laughs> if you if you feel feel any differently about Charles, then watch like that Diana documentary, and you'll feel oh, yeah. you'll go right back to thinking he's a big head flat. Hey, oh no, but. Season yeah. four still about. The even shit, though he, the shit he put Diana through in season four. Oh. Why are we talking about oh. the crown again? Because <laughs> it's because it's, it's the, the TV event of the year, mate. Yeah. The non-factual TV <laughs> event of the year. Sod, sod baby Yoda. It's all about Princess Diana, right? <laughs> well, I don't know, mate. We've got the Star Wars man on our show today. We can't be, yeah, that's can't true, be dissing that's Star can't Wars. Be to be fair, I stayed up till like something stupid this morning watching the end of the first series of Mandalorian. I haven't watched oh. the second yet. Oh, you went, for, the... you, you went for the Disney Plus again? <laughs> yeah, I too was doing six months for free. So oh, fuck it, why I'm not? I'm not going to turn that down, am I? Um, <laughs> you can watch a lot in six what? months. You can, yeah. I'm going to try getting through all of it. And then I'll, yeah, I'm not paying. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we got the year we we got the year subscription and like i probably spent about six months just fucking going for it on disney plus hardly touch it now uh, <laughs> man it's not every day for us because indiana is so much. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah we watch simpsons every day we watch simpsons while she has her milk before bed she always watches simpsons there's always stuff on disney plus she watches a cartoon on there called bluey there's all the uh frozen films like indiana's glued to disney plus yeah that's, and then, that's, that's exactly bed, what they want. I am for Star Wars stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To be fair, I need to watch like the um the, the animated the Clone Wars and stuff like that because people rave about that shit. I watched it during lockdown. I hadn't watched it before, mm. and then during lockdown, I watched like the last series of Clone Wars first because they released the new one, didn't they? Mm. So I watched the last series first and was like, "This is actually pretty good." Went back and was like, "Oh, I don't know, a bit kiddy." So then I like googled the best episodes to watch and watched it that way. <laughs> But now I'm going back and just re-watching episodes I've not watched randomly. So I've watched it in a really <laughs> weird order. You've I've watched it how they release the films. But I like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where you've All got right, to start making... Three, four and five first and then... Uh, I'll, I'll go and do one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Then otherwise... I'll go and watch six, but then I'll watch <laughs> then I'll watch one that's not really then we'll part go of the and canon, but it's one. a prequel to yeah. four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> then I'll watch seven, and then I'll watch that Han Solo weird one. <laughs> that's bloody Joey. Joey always says it to wind me up, doesn't he? Did you did you see the first Star Wars film? And I'm always like, I know what you're doing here, Joey. You're setting me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, a new hope, and you'll go. Oh no, that's the fourth one, Greg. <laughs> yeah, but, but if you go, go, oh, you mean Phantom Menace? You'll you go, no, the one that was released first. Fucking hell, you're a real fan. <laughs> <laughs> I stand by Episode One being one of the best films, but that's the other chick I try to wind Greg up with. See, look at that grin there. It's a shit-eating grin. He didn't mean that at all. He's like, you better fucking shut up about that goddamn. <laughs> What's that to like? Gungans. <laughs> mm. What's not to like <laughs> Gungans? Yes. There are only one, like Boss Nasma. I like, you know, yeah, yeah. Well, can't you, can't, you can't disbar a blessed. It had, uh, it had Liam Neeson. <laughs> in it. You know, he's, that was pretty good. True. He was a. Uh, yeah. Qui Gon Jim was, was a great character. Qui Gon Jim. Qui Gon Jim. Come on, John. Come on, John. Let's go. 
<laughs> Jedi John. I love, I love that. that. Yeah. That's like a, that's a pub nickname if I ever fucking heard one. <laughs> we found the greatest Jedi, Jedi John. The Jedi, Jedi John is radio just the guy down the pub who can balance like a Guinness pint on his on his forehead and then pour it into another glass. <laughs> and he's got his own chair. You don't sit on that chair. Yeah, oh, don't sit on Jedi John's chair, mate. Ooh, no. yeah. Ooh, we wouldn't like that at all. He's got a plaque at the bar like Norm. He'll force cool. choke you. Yeah. <laughs> Walks with a okay. cane, but the cane like is the hilt of a lightsaber at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just picturing uh, what's his name from a uh, bunch of rabbit now. Fucking um, Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> and Christopher Lloyd. Oh, what you mean, Gestapo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was oh, a terrifying oh, villain. God. Oh, you know, I was... when I killed your brother, I sounded just like this. <laughs> That was terrifying as a child. Mate, when I'm he when he what? blew himself back up by yeah. the by his thumb, I was just like <laughs> surprise. <laughs> he's all like when he stand, when he sits up all floppy, he's just like <laughs> and with oh, those giant God. cartoon eyes. Oh well. god, he was it was, he was terrifying. Horrific. I always thought the singing sword he pulls out at one point. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, taboo. <laughs> Oh, I need to watch that again. I haven't seen that. Anymore. I rewatched oh, it. I absolutely love Roger Rabbit. Mm. Yeah, I think I've watched it a couple of times this year. Because there's I that. I think, it for a um, long time. I think Anthony. I think Ant, you mentioned it on here before. There's that prop show on Disney Plus. What's it called? Yes. Uh... Uh, prop, prop something. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> they do a whole episode on Roger Rabbit. It's a prop show really, about really... props or something. It's yeah, called yeah, prop about, something. About, <laughs> about props. Prop. And they, this. And they. <laughs> <laughs> Prop hard, and they do the um, they do a whole episode of Roger Rabbit. And it's yeah, really, yeah, yeah. Really, really interesting. So yeah, that made me then go watch the film again afterwards. Yeah, I haven't up. seen it for a long what's time. What's that? What's that film that came out? I believe after it that had Brad Pitt, and they used the same cool world. I think that's it, was it. Before it wasn't it? I, I it, it was maybe, but it was the whole kind of. I, I don't know if it was before or after it, but it was came off the came off the back of like how like. They could do cartoon and real life sort of mixed together. Mm. I think it but came up before Roger Rabbit. I could be wrong. It was sexier. I'll tell you that. It was way sexier. <laughs> and, was, and, they had, and they had Jessica Rabbit with like a 5p waist light line. Oh, you know, God. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into the the arousingness of cartoons. <laughs> not today. No, yeah, that's yeah, a different. That's my, yeah, yeah. We all know. Save, save that for the Patreon, right? <laughs> 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 top five, top five sexy cartoons. Ah, okay, I'll go, I'll go now. Or I'll video game, or video game characters. <laughs> oh, video game characters are a completely different. That's a whole uh, other can of worms. Here's yeah. one, Lara Croft, please. Uh, I want to jump. I want to. <laughs> are any of you playing uh, Cyberpunk or? No. Yes. yes. Only me. That's it. That's the, the no further, no more <laughs> no further questions on that. Just yes. Uh, one, one name. See if you have the same. Judy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm <laughs> Joe's. I'm, oh I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, I'm, I'm grafting. I'm grafting Judy right now. And all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, we played. Yeah, Joe. When we started playing Cyberpunk, Joe messaged me, be like, "I just banged a prostitute." And a male one, just to see what it was yeah, like. Yeah, I, I, saw, I saw the option to, to do both, and uh, I did. Not at the same time. <laughs> do, do you know what, though? You're not greedy. No. I, I, I did that yeah. accidentally. The other day, I was walking around, and I'm like, what's that icon on the map? Clicked on the guy, and I was like, I, I can't stop this. I can't stop this. Back out, back out. <laughs> and you can't. You, you have to watch well, it. Just having, just having a light unsafe. I feel unsafe. <laughs> I was just having a nice, light conversation with this man. All of a sudden, there's a transaction of money, and he's inside me. I don't know what happened. <laughs> what kind of game is this? Fucking great one, mate. Oh, it is fun. Oh. Everything, everything you couldn't do in theme park, you can do that now. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I wanted to do that in theme. I, I do now. <laughs> I never wanted to, but I do now. There was um, there's a there's a bit actually. It was uh, our friend Ed, me, me, Ed, and Greg all got uh, the game pretty much at the same time. We all mm. caved, um, and Ed got a little bit further than us before his had real issues and crashed a lot. And he's just sort of he's just sent us a picture, and it was of like a sword, but instead of a blade, it just had a big dildo. <laughs> I've heard about that bug, yeah. <laughs> And you it was just like dildos, right? Yeah, I think you I can can a plethora of dildos. 
Yeah, but they've removed a lot of them, didn't they, in one of the patches? It, it really? would appear that way because I haven't found any mm. in about a week. Yeah, I, so I went into a dildo <laughs> shop in the game. I literally went into a dildo shop. <laughs> now, do you remember that one in Amsterdam, Joe? That dildo shop we passed. It was like an Apple store. Do you remember? <laughs> oh, you passed yeah. all, these re- all these really grotty sex shops. And then all of a sudden, the most amazing <laughs> The Apple shop. store like, of like sex shops. <laughs> dildo, dildo heaven. Like, it was like an Apple, it was just an Apple store. And you kind of thought, wow, wow that yeah. actually... Maybe they, I will they, get had a, one. they had a genius bar and everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to sort out any buggy kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just got those tables, those sparsely placed tables, and instead of like iPhones and iPads, just different Still skills. Those, yeah. <laughs> just stood up. <laughs> Demonstrations. <laughs> Everyone gather around. People like people picking them up, just. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, not bad. Just uh, slap, 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 slap on the cheek. <laughs> this, dildo <laughs> comes, this dildo comes with Garage Band, if you want to. <laughs> Oh, uh, I realised yeah. we are literally just ploughing through topics for like a split second. Don't say that after a dildo conversation. We're <laughs> 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 just ploughing. Mr. Plough. That's, that's his name. That's, Greg's, that's, that's, that's Greg's a great name. name. That's a great name for a dildo, Mr. Plough. No, that's a great Mr. porno Plough. name. You know, I wouldn't, yeah, the wouldn't go anywhere Simpson near a guy <sighs> who was just called Mr. Plough. <laughs> so, you, know, you put it into like a porno context. Um, at one of... The new guys that are um, where I work now. Uh, he just turned up on Microsoft Teams. He just made made a comment. His name is James Plows, and mm. at the first comment after was someone screenshotted his name. It says, "Do you?" And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the fact that Tom knew exactly what it was going to be. <laughs> of course. And he what had else? the perfect. Co- oh. I yeah, think he's come. Well. He's come back. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I think the comeback was literally a gift of Mr. Plow. Uh, oh, call it a comeback. And it's like, it was like really quick. Like he had it ready. He knew. He's probably had it, he's probably had it said to him before. Yeah, it's, it's like, like I said to the people at work, it's like, it's, I always expect the first thing people say to me is, oh, and where's Deck? Like, uh, it's just a thing. Like, never thought of saying that to you. I'm glad I never thought of saying that to you. Nah, so am I, mate. Yeah, so I never, I wouldn't, I'd never yeah. stoop to those levels. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, I get Greg's obviously going back. I get Greg's bakery a lot. Yeah. Like that, that's usually the first go. It used to be Neil Armstrong jokes on my surname. Armstrong oh, yeah. It yeah. always be that. But, as I, as, but now, yeah, exactly. Where's your dad? Where's your dad? Um, but now I was like, now it's more like, yeah, Greg's the bakery is usually the one people go for. And I'm I'll keep like, it current. I've got to keep <laughs> it current. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I've not heard that. I'm usually just like, <laughs> never heard that before. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fantastic work. You've enlightened me. <laughs> I used to get, when I was at school, just like, where's your Technicolor dream coat? Uh, Sure. (laughs) Where is it? And like, yeah. And like, how's Mary and all this shite. And I was just like, oh yeah, that's really, that's really funny. I didn't think it was going to be, I thought it'd be more the Jackson thing. Yeah. No, nah, that didn't come till later because yeah, everyone, right? everyone found out, like everyone found out that like Michael Jackson's dad was called Joe Jackson. (laughs) And then it was just like, oh. Well, and there a is a singer called Joe Jackson, right? There's a singer called there Joe is, Jackson yeah, yeah. who uh, is uh, got a, some very well-known songs that actually me and yeah. Greg never realised until someone pointed it out to us. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, and I'll think like, sorry, Mr. Jackson, and things like that. You sorry, Miss Jackson. Yeah. Um, yeah. My yeah. mum once said she wanted that played at her funeral, which I thought was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> We should sing it. Brilliant. We should sing it. Yeah. Maybe we will perform it together. No, I don't want to do that. I don't. I don't think I'll be in. I don't think I'll be in, in any fit state to do anything. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> I feel like we should probably stop talking about Joe's mum's funeral. Hey, this is Greg's <laughs> Greg's one man show of Outcast. <laughs> I don't even play that song. No. <laughs> I'm up there going, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then just be, it's your, yeah. it's your. <laughs> oh man I, um, oh god hey, yeah <laughs> <laughs> I love that you guys are hip hoppers as well like. I know but we don't like we, we try not to really we, we've never agreed or never believed in sort of like doing things that we're not so like, uh, like we, we don't like rap about women and well we, i guess occasionally rap about women it's but like though. <laughs> I really yeah, respect yeah. all the ladies in the house yeah. <laughs> we hope you all get home safe tonight <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let me get you an uber 
<laughs> there must be there must be a genre of gentleman rap there must be oh yeah I'm sure I feel like is. I feel like if not gentleman then chap rap chap, yeah, yeah. Heard, oh, heard chap that. rap I like that yeah that's oh, the guys in the like tweed suits talking about Victorian shit yeah <laughs> tweed, tweed suits but with a gilet over <laughs> <laughs> a pocket full of bird feed <laughs> <laughs> have you guys have you guys ever watched the uh, compliment rap battles yeah. Online. Yeah, yeah. 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 I so I saw um obviously there's like the uh, don't don't flop TV always did like some mm. some things and I, I I had seen some there which are really weird. It's just really weird someone aggressively pay <laughs> someone compliments. Yeah. It's so strange. Me and me and um our friend Jack hey, we used, used to do, do it. that. We used to always do it in the pub. Yeah, we'd always if Jack was working in the pub, we'd always we'd always just stand there and just be like, Listen here, mate. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I thought you looked really fucking good today, all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, we, me and Jack did it once, and we took it too far to the point that a guy was in the pub, stood up to break us up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah <laughs> he yeah, thought yeah. we were having a legitimate argument, and we was like, nah, mate, no, it's all right. We got this Putting you control. guys apart, you were just, I really like your fucking hair, you look lovely. Yeah, yeah, he was not listening <laughs> to a single thing we were saying. He just heard raised voices and was just like, I better step in here and break this up. <laughs> yeah. I think I had that on a night out once years ago. Me and me and a friend were getting really into it, just having a conversation, but it was loud. Yeah. And some guy <laughs> came over and is like, "Are you guys all right? Like, do you want to take it outside?" Or <laughs> like, he turned to him was like, "Are you offering us out? And what, what's going on?" Love the but, fact the guy yeah, came just... up and he's not trying to break up. He's like, "Right, guys." It's not good to fight in here. Do you want to go outside and fight? Yeah, yeah. 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 There's, uh, don't there's fight in here. You might break safety stuff. Go outside and fight. <laughs> That's I'm not trying to stop the fight. You, That's Maidstone for you. You'll have more Just of an audience. Just asking you, you to have... move it to another section. Then move more... it to well, a space tra- location. If you go outside, traditional. there's more space for spectators if you step yeah. outside. <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't want to exclude anyone. Love a Love a punch up in the smoking area. Absolutely love it. God, I haven't been been in that situation this year to really witness anything being out. Yeah, pub. No, I've been no. in a pub once since. March, I think what? What did we go, nuts. Joe? What? Twice you went to wagon and horses, maybe. Uh, I yeah, like t- we maybe we three times. times, but yeah, twice sounds about I right. I think I went twice, very uh, far apart from each other, in different variations of lockdown. Mm. And yeah, it was nice to sit around a table with like you and Ed and Sarah with a beer, but it wasn't very nice that you just couldn't really relax. Yeah, uh, you mm. felt like there was you. It, it, there was too many there's too many like regulations and 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 things that you had to do in order to get to the pub or into the pub yeah but really it, it just takes away all the spontaneity of just like turning to your mate and be like should we go to the pub and they're like yeah yeah yeah, yeah exactly we to, like we like booked it on the way there oh like oh, should, that, we, should we go to the so. pub oh no i forgot my mask yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly was. yeah and then you know you feel bad we'll sit outside and you're like oh I want to get a beer, but I can't go to the bar. I need to flag down this woman who's dealing with like a hundred tables right now. Yeah. Um, I've been, I went twice since the first lockdown, like proper lockdown. Like, but when COVID first sort of reared its ugly head, I, I, I'd gone a couple of times and you sort of had to be a bit careful, but you're all right still to go out. Once lockdown happened, I've been twice, both times with a hearty meal, got a drink with a meal. A um, scotch egg. Got a scotch egg. That's it. But I am. Um, I went and it wasn't particularly busy. So it was quite nice because it's like as soon as your glass was almost empty, they would come over. Do you want another one? Like they come oh, to your nice. table. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> I love so it. Nice. Yeah. I, I quite liked it. <laughs> yeah. We didn't get that. <laughs> we, no, we were like uh, holding empty glasses, like, come on. There was a, there was a time that I went. Yeah, there was a time where I went and it was just me and Ed and we were we were sort of getting some drinks and and food and that, but on the table next to us was these three. I, I guess I should call them women, but they didn't really look like it. Um, they were yeah. they were really like like trolls. You know what like a troll looks like. like Give me a drink. Give me a drink. Like, hits <laughs> and uh, like a really horrible tracksuit. They were like, they were like kicking off at this woman like just about like the state of the food or this shit basically just trying to not pay for stuff that they'd sort of order them at and then they would just sort of they they left but it was such a bullshit fucking thing to see in like the middle of like a, you a know pandemic, yeah. a fucking pandemic that people have still got time on their hands to like give someone in the service industry try and shit. swindle try and swindle a free meal yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. me and me and ed were just sitting there just like look at this fucking cunt like just <laughs> fucking really just like almost to the point that we wish they heard us <laughs> it, it's awful i mean like um <clears throat> 
I've some stories that mum said, and Greg's probably seen it as well. My mum's a COVID tester at a hospital. Mm. So she she does the staff and people coming in for operations and stuff. And she said, like, she had some really fucking rude people. And it's kind of like, you came here to have yeah. a test. Yeah. Why, are you, like, why are you shouting at me? <laughs> fucking trying to stick uh, up the nose, you bitch. Like, oh, God. Like, it just seems such a bizarre thing to get up in arms about like where, where she went to hospital there were, people were booked appointments they had to, they had time slots and people would like show up an hour early and it's like, <laughs> no, there's a reason you have a time slot yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like it's not like you <clears throat> turned up early but no one's here it's like yeah but it's not your time to have your test and you've got a time slot so you're not mixing with other people like it's just dumb like, uh, you're, are you doing a walk-up one aren't you i do walk-ins and literally parking cars and people testing the yeah, car yeah. as well so i did that and walk-ins i yesterday was my last shift in that oh yeah, yeah oh yeah so, so you post on. now yeah, yeah i've left now and i sent like my team like a you know like a goodbye message and i put mm. a couple of my favorite funny moments in there things that mm. i was asked i'm going to read you two of them because they're pretty funny man he always comes was, prepared things, he always comes prepared that, he's so good things that was generally <laughs> said to me during this job at covid testing can you hold my tongue down while i swab no, ma'am, I can't put my hands in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like through a car window. I, I, don't, I, I never actually do the test. I just talk people through it. Oh, so, that's, it's a self-administered one, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And Greg, then what, did the, you, what did you say to me the other day about like you had, a, you, you had to teach like a group of people how to do it? Like, but there was like a group of people standing around you watching you how to administer this test. And then they started clapping. Oh, that was yesterday, yeah. That was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Still goes like clapping. Oh, God. Um, and my, and my favorite thing someone said to me, and this is genuine, and he was really angry when he said it to me <laughs> I can't believe you won't test my dog. <laughs> <laughs> was it really it does like, was mate, I am not dog? sticking a swab down your dog's throat. Yeah, I'm not man. sticking my not... hand in a dog's mouth <laughs> with a swab. Not happening. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. Oh, so good. Or the next. So funny. So oh, funny. God. What kind yeah. of dog was it? Uh, it looked like irrelevant. A, it looked, irrelevant. It looked, like, it looked like a whippet. It looked like a whippet to me. Name uh, it's called uh, Shelby. Okay. <laughs> the dog was there in the car. It was a beautiful dog. Shelby. Uh, Peaky well, Blinders the way, cast, was he? But you know, they pull up, and you're just like, "How many tests you booked in for?" He's like, "One." Then he looks in his back seat, and I can't see what's back there, and he goes. Oh, actually, can I do two? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. Is there a person booked in? If not, it's not a problem. We're getting registered. And then I just see this dog's head come forward. He's like, oh, yeah, I want to, do, I want to use my dog one. And I'm like, I don't, what? Just for a laugh. Oh, I just want to see what happens. <laughs> and then it kind of escalates from there. Six his head through it. My name's Shelby. Yeah. <laughs> he has a, she has a name. I'm four years old. I just want to just, I just want to test my dog's gag reflex. That's all. I've don't don't, ask, don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. <laughs> I thought my human here to be tested, actually. Yeah. So how Shelby many, drove. How many tests did you have in the whole time, Greg? One. You only did one. That's crazy, isn't it? Look, my, my, where my mum. Only she... because somebody in my team tested positive, so we all oh, went, really? we, we went off our own accord and went and got tested. Yeah, Has anyone see, else been, have any of you guys been tested? Yeah, I was uh, yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it's fucking awful. I bet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun. No. I, had to, I, I helped Joe do hers. Did you hold her tongue down? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I, I did. <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> in, a, in, in a manner of speaking, <laughs> um, I inserted the uh, the swab. There we go. Wow. And Damn. did all the God. swabbing about, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, so it was and, actually, then up, and then up the nose as well. Ah, it was actually I we as a family <laughs> we went a day trip as a family we went and got <laughs> tested. Um, uh, well, that was a common, a common activity this year. <laughs> oh, it yeah. was. God, the National Lapoon films have gone down here, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was actually my mum tested my wife and my daughter and her colleague tested me. But the weirdest thing is because my mum was bank staff up at the hospital. Like she was never offered a test yeah. because she's oh, only right. bank staff. Um, right. So she, yeah. but obviously she's there. She's got with the kids. <laughs> she was like, test myself. Yeah. 
Yoink. Because yeah. so, many, so many people <laughs> say to me, like, what, what can't be with doing this job? Even people being tested. Some mm-hmm. people would be like, oh, mate, you've got a shit job. And I'd be like, ah, thank you. Um, some, people, <laughs> some, some people would be like, you're so thank brave you. for doing this. You're so brave for doing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, no, no, no. I never really thought of that. I, like, I never felt unsafe. No, I was pay always you a hero's wage. I was always at a distance. I was always in full PPE. <laughs> like I was always, I san- I sanitized that, and I was probably more involved than I should have been. I'm not allowed to touch people's tests, but when you got an old person that can't do stuff, half the time I'd be like, I'll just, I never swab people, mm. but I would finish off the test, get it all packed up for them. You'd finish them I'm- off. Yeah, <laughs> which you'd finish the old people been... off. <laughs> yeah. you'd let them, you'd let them do them, the, do the main work, and then you swoop in for the finale. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. The glory, glory. Yeah. The glory. <laughs> the glory. It, didn't they do well? Um, I'd never be. Yeah, but you yeah, yeah, yeah. You do their there. testes or whatever. And you, oh. yeah, it's, it's, it's... <laughs> you just crash are killing it here. Um, oh, I forgot the point I was trying to make. Oh, yeah. So um, I'd even, I'd even like, like. You were telling us why you never thought of yourself as a hero. <laughs> <laughs> and then you wanked off some old people. <laughs> <laughs> For the glory. <laughs> For the glory. Jesus Every Christ. time for the glory. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom line is, I never felt unsafe or or, yeah, yeah. or, 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 or at risk. <laughs> <what I'm> <laughs> I never felt unsafe or at risk. Oh God, I'm sweating. So, you know. <laughs> oh God. The only reason I did a test was because somebody in my team had caught it during the four days off. Oh bless him, trying to keep think, it on track. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I did my test. And even I, I, and I, yeah, it wasn't a fun experience. No, oh, it's awful. My, I did it sat in my car on my own, and I was like, I've taught people through this hundreds of times. It's going to be easy. In your car, listen to Gary Jules on your own at Christmas. All around me are familiar Oh, what? That's it. So obviously, where we would we had it done at the hospital like it was nurses administering the test um so they, they were doing the test for us and right. i was i was holding that so well and like just doing the back of my throat and i was like like in my head i was like cool, i haven't he- i haven't heaved i haven't he- <laughs> <laughs> she was taking the swab away <laughs> just like, a little last minute i was like fuck <laughs> Now it's Lynn. going in your nose. Great. Yeah. yeah. Yay. <laughs> same I was, one? I mean, I explained it. Yeah, it is the same one. No, you're kidding. <laughs> no, 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 it's so one many swab. Yeah. One really swab, it's the throat and then both nostrils. Yeah. yeah. I never, that's... some people got really funny, but the same swab, and I'd always make the same. That's why we go mouth, nose, not nose, mouth. And they'll, they'll yeah, go, yeah. oh, that makes sense. Ha ha ha. Humor. Not Thank the you. nose. Um, <laughs> but yeah. But some people would be like, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> don't have your test then. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, but um, yeah, I, I, we spoke about it on the last episode, didn't we, Tom? Where yes. I talked through my no, experience, and um, it was like it, that, that swab touched places in my head I didn't know it fucking existed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it tickle your brain, didn't it? T- as long as it, like, it was, it was your awful. Shouldn't touch the tongue in your teeth. <laughs> like when it went up the nose, it was just like, is it still going? It's still going. Ow! <laughs> I always, right good, I always had a, a good line. Uh, my line from doing the nose, no, like, mm. how far do I go? My line would always be, you don't want to re- you don't need to touch the back of your eyeball. You just need to go to your feel bit of resistance and just swab. That's how I would. Yeah. You should have said, what you should have said was, you're not here to impress anyone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how far should it go till it yeah. stops? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not going out after this. So don't, 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 yeah. Yeah. don't even you, expect yeah. coffee, mate. <laughs> just... Tilt your head back. I'm going to try and dart it in from over here. <laughs> Just gonna get the hammer. <laughs> Here's your free lobotomy. <laughs> How much does it hurt out of ten? It's a seven, right? You're not far enough. <laughs> you're, cured, you're now cured from COVID. <laughs> oh oh man, <laughs> hilarious! <laughs> oh, but God. joking aside, I actually did. I actually did really enjoy that job. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know why. It, on paper, it sounds like the worst job in the world, but I really did enjoy it. It's yeah. it's it's that sense of satisfaction. It's like I used to say, like at my job when I worked at the hospital. It's mm. shit. Like yeah. you get shouted at, you get sworn at. Like I used Ooh. to get spat at, like threatened and things like that. And but I I loved it. <laughs> I don't know why. Because <laughs> he's, he's, yeah. he's a sub. He's a sub. You enter like degradation <laughs> and humiliation or something. No. <laughs> 
No, no. You fucking are. <laughs> you are now. Oh, don't. Oh, don't. Um, <laughs> but it's, um, yeah, it, it's just that weird satisfaction of like helping mm-hmm. people. And it, I, I've said it to Tom before. It's like, it's not a totally selfless job at all. Like you're getting something out of it. Mm. Like yeah. that. You're getting, a, you're getting a, a good old release of serotonin every time someone yeah. says thank you. So like. Exactly. It's nice. Especially yeah, those old I people. Did. Yeah, I didn't really, very rarely I heard thank you, but when you did, it was quite nice. Like, yeah, yeah. Someone even at Christmas Day, a lady even asked my name, and I'd never had Ooh. that before I'm doing it. She really? was like, you're, she was, <laughs> a lady? Yeah, a lady. <laughs> she, she was like, you've been so lovely to me. What's your name? And I was like, my name's Greg. And she was like, thank you, Greg. <laughs> and I was like, you're welcome, lady. <laughs> Have a nice Christmas. Like, get out of here, you little scamp. <laughs> Yeah, really, yeah, you're old it's really fucking oh, okay. I don't have time to talk. Yeah. <laughs> still yeah. got it. How many yeah, tests? Still got it. <laughs> did you? Did because I remember you saying, well, like when we were messaging on the group, you said like you almost ran out of all of your tests. Christmas, on Christmas Day, Day, we were so naive. The whole team being like, "Oh, I reckon we're only going to help." We took we always take bets on how many tests you're going to do when you go somewhere, <laughs> and. um I was like in the morning and the previous day, the team previous to us had done really low amounts of tests just because people hadn't showed up uh, because obviously getting ready for Christmas. So we're all like Christmas day is going to be dead. So we get to the site and we're just like, I reckon somebody was like 24 tests. I was like, I reckon 16. Somebody was like, I don't think we're going to do more than like 10. And that was very naive of us because soon as we opened the front gate to this car park, it was mental. 28 days later. (laughs) <laughs> all day yeah it was all day long and i don't i think we did i think we almost ran out of like the 500 tests we had jesus because i didn't want to text you because i told you i was going for a walk we've got a covid testing site just up the road from us and we were like let's go and see what it's like there <laughs> <laughs> so, so we walked around and the place was like closed there was one staff member on the gate and there was wow there. but Jeez. i was like, i'm not i'm not gonna let greg know that <laughs> yeah. he could have been in he could have been in rochester and wait until no wait until after he's quit yeah but to, be, to be fair it doesn't matter it, anymore in, in a job like i, I think i would prefer Prefer to be busy than to just have nobody show up. Oh, so like, yeah. I mean, Christmas Day. It yeah, was yeah. weird. It was thing is, it was a weird mix though of it being really busy, so it went fast, but also mm. everyone was in the mindset of we're going to have a very different day at work today, where we thought it was going to be quiet, and everyone yeah, had yeah. games. I think someone had a football. Like, oh, this is going to oh, be an awesome right. day. This is going to be a yeah, great yeah, Christmas yeah. day. But well, it you're was, the, uh, on the front lines of the war. <laughs> 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 It's still like a Debenhams advert or something. We're, we're, we're going to play football with the other COVID testing team, the other side of the yeah, face. Yeah. <laughs> no, all the people queuing up, you're like, look, it's fucking Christmas Day. We're not going to do it today. We're not doing it. We'll have a game of football, we are. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a nice, unsafe game of COVID football. <laughs> but you lot it's, are on uh, the other side. Yeah, yeah you it's lot are the fucking Germans. sanitised versus patients today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was a very mental day, but it, again, it did go very quick. Mm. So, I mean, you know, I got when I got home, I was proper just like shattered, and then I was very happy to find out I didn't have to work Boxing Day. Mm. Mm. That is a touch, isn't it? <clears throat> that yeah, was a touch, yeah, because yeah. that was that that would have been even more busier, I think, Boxing Day. Mm. So now you're what a fully full, fully employed, like full time employed publisher. Uh, I've been uh, saying author. Technically, author. not yeah. yet. Technically not yet. We've He's got, basically uh, Stephen King. Oh, when's, your, when's your first day of <laughs> when's your first day of self employment, Greg? When um, do you sign your own contract? <laughs> hopefully, very early in January. We've been chatting with meeting accountants and getting all that set up so we can pay ourselves correctly. Mm-hmm. And not, well, yeah. we, we don't want to just start doing <laughs> not it illegally. And then, and then like yeah, not illegally. We want to make sure we're doing everything properly. So yeah, we've been having, having meetings with accountants and trying to pick nice. what we like. <laughs> I've and got it, to start doing that as well. So more like. Get ourselves set up because you know we're a limited company, so we need to do it properly. And basically, we want to pay ourselves a, a, a livable wage so that we can get the Star Wars book finished and then work on volume two. Mm. It's cool, man. Like, it's been it's really mad. interesting to kind of keep tabs on it as you've been going. Like, the fact that, like, what was it a, a couple of weeks ago, you and I had a conversation over Zoom yeah. about you know me starting um, uh, freelancing and stuff. Mm. And at that point, you were really like, oh, I don't know whether we're going to make it. It's yeah. going to, 
it. Like it just doesn't yeah. look like it's going to be doable. And then... we almost scrapped it. We almost it's, scrapped it. it. Really, it, there was it, yeah. it was a certain point because I got I got really into like watching the Kickstarter. I was like, <laughs> yeah, how much yeah, has it yeah. gone up by now? <laughs> and um, I I sort of saw it and I was like, oh damn! Like it was maybe like like three or four days to go, and it was such like a gap. But then yeah, it's, there was like because I remember looking and it was like. Were you at like 116, like two, two or three days before when at no, last not I checked? Two or three it was... days. So our target. So I guess for your listeners, you might not know, is that I was making a book with my wife's cousin about the original Star Wars figures, the Kenner ones from 77 to 85, and we launched a Kickstarter to fund it and get it done. Can and I just a... say that I was so glad that I got those years correct when I started doing the so shares? Was for right. so <laughs> was right. Well done. I was like, um, 77 to 85? So we did a Kickstarter for uh, with a target of £127,000, which was met with a lot of negative feedback. So everyone's like, why is their target so high? This is a joke. It shouldn't be that high. And they were right, because we'd done it to fund the book, have money to put into a company and pay ourselves so we could make volume two. Like that, you know, yeah. we've gone big. And we were like, mm. ah, it's not going to work. It's too high. But we let it ride and it started off well. Then it got to like 30, 40 grand and kind of really stopped. And then we were yeah. like, oh, we're fucked. We're mm-hmm. done. Yeah. Let's scrap it. Then we decided to keep it. And, yeah, and as you would say, as you said, then it got, as it got to the last few days, it started getting high. And I think we hit 100 grand like two days before it finished. Yeah. So even yeah. though I'm like, 100 grand, I'm still like, we're 27,000 pounds away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but then by the end of the last day, I woke up and it was on £110,000 on, on the last day. Yeah. Like, wow. £17,000. That's still a lot of money. That's nuts. Yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was just the most nerve wracking. And I was at work that day, man. It was a nerve. And I could get told off for checking my phone. It was such a nerve wracking day. Um, and then, yeah, it was literally right. Me, me and Joe were doing a, we recorded the upcoming episode of All Seeing Guys in the final hours of it. Oh, really? Wow. And, and, oh, we, my God. And we keep chatting. It was good for me to take my mind off it, but then we'd keep looking. Like, yeah, <laughs> just, no, I was, even I was on my phone, just like, just like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're doing like comic relief looking at the big board. That was it. That's what we, that was the reference we made. We're just yeah. like, Bob Geldof's going to come down <laughs> and shout at you in a minute. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, and then literally we hit the target with nine hours before it finished. Right. Crazy. And then, but then, uh, but everyone was like, we've done it. All these amazing, everyone on Facebook was, inc- the scene in the comments was incredible. How mm-hmm. people were reacting and, and people were like, I'm going to try and get it, get it up. I'm going to share it here. I'm going to do, I'm going to up my pledge and just seeing every, all these people working together to try and do it. It was pretty amazing. It was really, That's really awesome. nice. It like, was amazing. It was so, so nice cool. to like see people share it. And like, uh, there was like loads of sort of people that we, me and Greg know, but we haven't seen in a while. They were still like sharing it and just like get on this. I always have fun with sharing things like that. Cause I get, a, get to put a load of spiel in at the top, which is just like, <laughs> That's always fun, but um, yeah, it was just it was it was nice just to not just see like the the Star Wars sort of fandom sort of come out and support it, but just generally people that mm-hmm. like Greg. So that was all. Yeah. But I still didn't relax when we hit the target. Nine hours left. I was st- I I didn't post anything. But yeah. I messaged Johnny, being like, "We've done it, but I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna post saying anything. I'm just gonna stop and wait till it finishes." Because you do hear some people do like to mess with you. Some people would do big pledges towards the end of a Kickstarter and then mm. cancel them just before the deadline. And I was like, like myself. Like, I, I was convincing myself was like, that that was going to happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, we, but then we ended up doing literally like 30 quid shy of a hundred of 143,000 pounds. That's incredible. Oh, yeah. And since then we've been now doing pre-orders through the website and we've sold loads more. It's crazy. Really? It's wow. Now I'm getting a bit nervous now because I'm like, we've not even finished yet. And we've sold like <laughs> thousands of copies already around the world. <laughs> Time to work, my friend. Time yeah, I, to suppose, get to work. Yeah. I suppose people waited to see if the Kickstarter was successful to see if it would actually yeah. happen before they put in their order. They not realising yeah. that if they put their order, it was more likely that... The, do you yeah. know what I mean? It's just that weird sort of... Yeah, so like the first 24 logic. hours and the last 24 hours of the Kickstarter are the most important. Yeah, that's, yeah. Where, that's where you see the most pledges happening. Definitely, because I think Kickstarter, don't they put on the front page like ending today? And I yeah, think yeah, yeah. you don't yeah. sort of like you get new today and then you get ending today sort of thing. Yeah, so. yeah. So yeah, a lot oh, of people can like a lot of people like followed our Kickstarter. So when the last 24 hours hit, I think like 800 people got a notification to be like this ends today. Yeah. 
Those who cared, or, those who like, cared were obviously just like, oh, they're there. nowhere near, or they're close enough for me to do it. I'll do it. <sighs> right. Yeah. No, it's terrifying. Yeah. It was a terrifying 44 days. Yeah. I, mean, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I also think, like I said this on the podcast with Joe, we also slightly benefited, without spoilers for Tom, that season two of Mandalorian finished the day of our Kickstarter. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. And so everyone on Twitter, because Twitter, I almost ditched Twitter, like, because I was like, I don't really do it much. But during this Kickstarter and starting the the Star Wars book, it's been like the most important social platform we've had in terms of like mm. building contacts and stuff. That annoys yeah. me because I fucking hate Twitter. I know, I know. <laughs> luckily, but luckily, my Twitter is literally all Star Wars. But you could just see <laughs> everyone was so hump, oh, so pumped and in love with Star Wars again after series two of Mandalorian that people were like, this is, you know, the best thing that's happened in Star Wars is this and this. And then they were posting our book. And I'm just like, oh my God, what? all of a sudden you just kept, everything start, started converging. It was mm. just a, a perfect timing, isn't it? It's like the perfect, perfect storm timing. of like accumulation. We yeah. launched the Kickstarter <laughs> when the first episode of Mandalorian dropped and then it finished when the last episode of Mandalorian Oh shit, really? That's, 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 that's good. Oh, right. It was that's only, I mean, yeah, of course I did it on purpose. Of course <laughs> I thought it through. <laughs> That was genius, Greg. <laughs> of you can't I spoil it for me anyway because I listened to Kevin Smith, so I know what happens oh. at the end of Mandalorian. Yeah, well, oh, he was a crying mess, wasn't he? Actually, <laughs> Always. that's a good thing. So, Always. Greg, I'll tell this story. So, the um, yeah, the, the final episode of Kevin Smith uh, put out a post of him like blubbering, like in complete fucking tears after watching it. My thought process was, ah, oh, he's emotionally unstable. I'm going to send him a DM and a Kickstarter link real quick and uh, see if he'll donate. Never, never read it. Left me on, left me on not even seen. Bastard. Bastard. Yeah. Bastard. Well, no fucking book for him then, isn't it? No, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, he's missed out. it. He will have to pay super. Like, he'll, he'll have to pay like four grand on eBay for some bloke who's put it on. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> But no, it's brilliant. Like watching the campaign as well. It's kind of like you guys throughout are just like, and you know what? Fuck it. We're going to add this to the book now. And you know what? Yeah. We're going to add that to the book. Like, mm. where does that That's all the come great from? Thing, really. That's the thing. Like, why did you decide to add all these new bits halfway through? Or was it always a decision to do that? Always a decision. You knew you were going to do that from the start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 all the Fuck bits we added. <laughs> It's like only if we hit certain levels of. Oh, so there were like stretch goals, but not stretch goals, not yeah, stretch yeah. goals, because stretch goals. But then we decided when we realized we, when we thought we weren't going to hit the target, we were like, people seem to really want the stretch goals, but don't want to put the money towards it. Yeah, so yeah. maybe if we just put put those in the book, then that would encourage them to pledge, and it did. You know, it did work. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, so it's something you always wanted to do, but only if you had the money to do it. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but you were always so going to have the money to do it if the Kickstarter succeeded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of a, it's kind of a risky move. Um, yeah. It's quite funny, actually. Why, just as you asked that, Johnny was just messaging me, being like, I'm trying to find certain things we need to fulfill the stretch goals. And he's yeah. looking at how much it's going to cost us to get hold of them and photograph them. And I'm like, oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, like, where are all of these figures coming from that you're taking photos i i have johnny's collection oh does he have like almost a complete collection he has a complete uh the kenner collection wow. so i've got his loose collection i've got here because i was obviously photographing it yeah yeah. All, but all like in like in stacked boxes in indiana's bedroom on top of her wardrobe uh and she knows they're there and she's always like can i play with johnny star wars i'm like no <laughs> um whereas i have mine in like a tupperware box i've had since i was a kid usually yeah. in the cupboard behind me that I played yeah. with her death since I was a kid. So mm-hmm. I let her play with folks. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, J- all Johnny's collection, he brought down to me in between a lockdown at some point last year. Mm-hmm. I think he, just before the first lockdown, actually, then during the first lockdown, I photographed them all. Mm-hmm. And I've got it, yeah, in Indiana's room. So I've still got his collection here. And then I have figures that I've just bought myself that aren't necessarily the ones for the book, more like yeah. the more detailed modern figures. yeah. <laughs> He could Johnny again. Johnny had a bunch of those that he get, just gave me, and I've gone out and bought some of my own just to kind of keep doing my photos that I put on the Instagram and stuff because I thought that became a huge hobby for me. I don't, mm-hmm. you know, that doesn't really have much to do with what we're doing, those Star Wars photos. I just enjoyed making extra content to post. So they're I'm amazing. Just constantly those pictures. banging on about the book. You don't want to just yeah. be like, here's another page of the book. Here's another page of the book. I want to be, here's fucking Obi Wan Kenobi back flipping through a fucking field of lasers like you know i want to have more fun with the figures they are wicked 
like big, I think we did obvious. speak about it on the last episode, yeah. didn't we, Tom? And yeah. yeah, we sort of, with for want of a better word, suck your cock about the ah, <laughs> how you took gushed. the pictures. <laughs> gushed, mate. Gushed. About those pictures. Gushed. Gushed. Like, like a fucking geezer. <laughs> 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 yeah, so yeah, it's really. I've got I've got a bunch more for Christmas that uh, I'm looking forward to photographing, which I mm. probably might do this <clears> afternoon. <throat> Um, I got so much random Star Wars stuff for Christmas. Obviously, everyone <laughs> in my family was like, "Star Wars, of course." I mean, like, really, like, like I say, mug, yeah, jumper. Oh, that seems to. Have, oh, I see the lightsabers have disappeared from that mug, Greg. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah cool yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. yeah great. Down. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, <laughs> I, the, the Death Star ice cubes, like, like really, like <laughs> random loads of random Star Wars stuff. <laughs> The thing yeah. I love about it as well, it's just like you got all these Star Wars toys. You're like, I get to play with Star Wars toys. And then, but I take great pictures of them. So it, it's okay. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Not, when he I says, like, do play it. with them, it doesn't sound so pedo ish. You know, it's, it's a... I do feel a bit weird when I take them over to the woods. Yeah. If I go to the woods the day to do it, and I don't want anyone to see me. So I kind of walk around for a while. I'm like, oh, here's quiet. I can do a great shot of the stormtroopers in the mud. And then yeah. I hear someone coming, and I'll panic and grab them all and run off. <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, so uh, they're all thinking that you're cottaging. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I just, I'm just like, oh no, oh. And then I get home, and I'm like, I just should have just sat there and taken the pictures and just be like, morning, like, what? You know, someone's going to be like, oh, what you got there? <laughs> what I, uh, what I find weirder, Greg, is that although you're taking photos, you still do all the sound effects. It's just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no need for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom was right. The pew pew with the sound effects. <laughs> Oh, you're God. judging sound effects now. Don't you see? Don't you see? Lord well, do it in Last Jedi. She mouths the word "pew" as she. I think the so. Yeah, yeah. And it was uh, Ewan McGregor in the prequel oh, trilogy yeah, as well. Were kept being sounds. told off. For, oh know, yeah, yeah. I love the. Um, Easily I, done, I, isn't it? I love <laughs> course, watching. If you're gonna get a lightsaber, you're gonna do the noise, right? Yeah. yeah. You spent you spent the majority of your childhood making the noises. <laughs> That's not gonna end now. That's muscle yeah. memory. Yeah. Who does? Do you do a good lightsaber though? That's the question. Oh, uh, here he goes. Uh, do what? I don't know if not. I can do it anymore. <laughs> probably not. It's <laughs> it's ma- a... Like Joe says, it's muscle no. memory. <laughs> I've got well, I've got the ones downstairs well, that actually better. make the noise. So me, me and Indiana fight with those. Nah, it's much much more satisfying <laughs> when you do it with your own face. He has, <laughs> he has battered her so many times. Doesn't even let her win. <laughs> she battered me. I can't, I can't... She's like she's nonstop. <laughs> I'm going to lose an hand. This is like Yoda in the previous. Oh, what a lovely reference. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's Rogue One Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, she, lo- she loves that scene. That's amazing. My, so my, good. My, my, my three-year-old loves that Darth Vader Rogue One. She calls it the red one. Can we watch the red one, Darth Vader? I feel like that's her <laughs> Columbine CCTV footage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you gotta watch that's, the thing, that's the thing that she watches, but she knows she shouldn't enjoy it. But she, does. she loves it. No, it's, it is incredible. I, I remember watching that scene. It, it, it was just so oh, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was incredible scene. Which one's Rogue One? Is that the. Uh, is that <laughs> Basically, is when there I went a kick to. Option? Hang on. I think you watched it on a plane, <laughs> didn't you? I, I watched. Uh, when I went to New York a few years back, I was on the plane on the way back and I saw a, a Star Wars film and I was like, oh, brilliant, the new Star Wars. And I'm watching away and I was just like, where's the English black guy? He's yeah. not in this. And I was like, this isn't the Star Wars film I thought it was. This is a completely <laughs> different film. Wasn't so the Star my... Wars film you were looking for? It yeah. wasn't, no. Yeah. So my mother-in-law has a very similar story. Well, I have a very similar story about my mother-in-law watching Rogue One on a plane where she was like, she thought she was watching Force Awakens and was like, I watched that new Star Wars film. You know, on the plane, they cut out the black guy completely. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like... As what? long as it wasn't followed up by, I loved it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. She's like, she's like, cut, cut out the black guy. It was she's great. Like, it was only like, 45 minutes long. She's like, I was shocked. I couldn't believe they cut the black guy out of the film. And I'm like, what the hell was it? And she's telling me about it. I'm like, no, you watched Rogue, Rogue One. He's not in that. I mean, you think that's great. Uh, September the 11th, 2001. I don't know if you remember that date. Um, no. my, nan, my nan walked into her living room and went, oh, great, Towering Inferno. <laughs> no. <laughs> was she cracking a joke, or did she think? No, no, no. True it? story. She thought it was towering inferno. Oh right, okay. <laughs> I mean, oh, I remember a little bit more sweet and endearing, actually. <laughs> I I remember like coming home and like watching constantly the footage of nine eleven and thinking like I'm in a movie. This is yeah. like this is like a movie. Like yeah, and then and then twenty twenty happened and you're like fucking hell. 
Oh, <laughs> sequel. The sequel, no one wanted. Yeah. <laughs> when you just mentioned movie, I just want to quickly say, when I was at work a couple of weeks ago, a woman said to me who was getting tested, she went, people are going to make a movie about you soon. Can you believe that? You're going to get a movie made about you guys soon. And I was like, as long as Morgan Freeman plays me, I'm happy. And she literally, <laughs> went, and she literally her face went from like happy to like disgusted. She was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> a black man. Um, I was like, <laughs> who do you Anyways, think you are? Off you yeah. go. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> I love that she thinks it's, it's going to be specifically a film made about you. Well, not me yeah. personally. <laughs> yeah, not Greg personally, just COVID testers. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be I a think great if anything, film. it will be a sit- it will be a sitcom akin to The Office. It will be the I, new I Ricky was, Gervais thing. I did think after, I, like, I could probably maybe write a semi-funny sitcom yeah. about being a COVID worker. Easily. <sighs> you should. Yeah. I, it, it will happen. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. it will happen. Yeah, if the yeah. script's not already written, it's yeah. like most of the way there. <laughs> Oh, did you see that they're doing that? Um, they're doing that stage thing again. Um, Theater. Oh, that, that Michael was Sheen good. and uh, I enjoyed that. That was good. <laughs> one day, one day. <laughs> yeah, they're doing a second series of it. Uh, what is it? Uh, Tenant and Sheen, isn't it? Sheen, yeah. It was doing funny. a Zoom thing. Yeah, the first oh. series was amazing. The first series was like, what I liked so much. About I didn't the first see that. Series. What is that? Did you know it's staged? It's some eye player. Uh, yeah, uh, we supposed to be this. Michael, Michael we, Sheen or where is it? I'm Michael sure Sheen did. and David Tennant. Yeah, yeah. like they're on Zoom because they were supposed to be doing a play, and so yeah. they they try to do the um, the practice but, for the play on Zoom, yeah. and it basically doesn't work. And it's just <laughs> David Tennant and Michael Sheen slagging each other off for twenty minutes. Did they accidentally yeah. instead of doing a rehearsal, they accidentally created a podcast? Basically, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, it's, it's that easy. It's yeah. that easy. It's kind of like um, uh, Steve Coogan and Rob Brydon's The Trip, but yes. but, but simplified down to just on Zoom. With yeah, Tenon and Sheen. Oh, mate, you can you can funny. blast through it in like two hours. Like <coughs> if that, if there's, that, yeah, yeah. There's like what six episodes. And I think we did it. I think long. we did it in two sits because like, I watched it quite late at night. The first two episodes, and the next day we finished it pretty quickly. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Really, really, really funny stuff. I what I liked about it was in the first episode, it really captured that awkward, confused usage of Zoom. When yeah. everyone like, talk, when every, when it would cut to everyone joy, everyone's going hello, 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 yeah. all over each other. Someone's got no sounds. Someone's frozen. It really captured that 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 awkwardness of using Zoom during the first lockdown when everyone it was, was getting so their head. well observed, wasn't it? Yeah. Haven't they said like the quote of the year is uh, "You're on mute." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. It's Probably. either you're on mute or oh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was um the interview episode that i put out the other week there yeah. was a moment during that where someone put themselves on mute and then tried to answer a question and i was like do i leave that in or is it <laughs> yes. slightly too 100 in the end i didn't in the end well no i mean if it was in anywhere but here of course then yeah, yeah, yeah but, yeah. but i've got you've sort of I've got the outtake for yeah. whatever I need to use. Personal, <laughs> personal use. Personal use. <laughs> future, future Patreon content. Mm. For <laughs> hey, all this stuff. This stuff needs saving now. Like, yeah, I hope yeah. you've got loads of outtakes. Oh yeah. So well, you can have a, yeah, yeah. So you can have a we Patreon. We don't take anything the out the podcast anymore. Nothing comes out of our show anymore. I know, the last, the last few episodes, I've been really pissed. So I like, know, yeah. <laughs> that last one, I listened oh. to. <laughs> There's like the episode where literally I spent like an hour and a half just talking over Greg. It's fucking horrific. You haven't even been home that long. You literally. No, I was buzzing. Like, I was absolutely now, buzzing. Home now, just finished dinner, ready to record, and then yeah, you're, I managed you're, to do. You're, you're I got home. I got home at about ten past seven, and we recorded at eight. But during that time, I managed to have three drinks at dinner, and then just like. <laughs> some other things and uh away we went and i it all just hit me in one massive go and i was a absolute it was so funny hurricane of fucking excitement i think we're both pretty we're pretty pissed on the one that's coming out tomorrow as well yeah well i got i was i was really excited about your kickstarter and then i've also remembered that after we finished recording and he like fucking hit the jackpot i started sending him like videos of me singing like we are the champions and like (laughs) celebration and shit like (laughs) Nice. After hitting the kickstart, I sat there calmly and relaxed <laughs> all night, just like, just don't, just stay calm. I treated it like, just, like England. Finishes tomorrow morning, <laughs> and Joe just went out, Joe just celebrated in his garden all night. Oh, and was, yeah. I was, and out was there. like hung over as fuck the next day. <laughs> yeah, well, I felt like I had to do something something specific the next day, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh no, I went to work. I was still going to work at the yeah, time. Yeah, you went to work. <laughs> you were hung over as hell. I felt hideous, yeah. Yeah, I was surprised. It's the first time in a while I'd been at work with a hangover. Oh, <laughs> horrendous. Mm. And especially in one of those places, you're in a DIY place now, aren't you? We are, yeah, yeah. Ooh, and, um, noisy. I, I used to I used to work in one of those <laughs> while I was uh, while I was at uni. And so most times I was hung over and it was just yeah. a nightmare. <laughs> it's, you know what? It's not too bad because the, um, the particular company, they're not like outside of London. They're not massively known. They're, oh, right. they're, they've, they've got about 25 stores altogether and they're all majorly based in London. But we're the first one that's kind of sort of out like suburban London. Right. So people people still know what it is and like they and they come in, but it's not like crazy crazy busy all the time. So we mm-hmm. get like uh, we get like little pockets of busyness, and then it will go dead for an hour. Fair play, which is great because I was really hung over. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite things I used to work for Wix. Yeah, yeah. So like one of my favorite bits was just just disappearing out the back. Mm. If I could, do you know, what I'm just gonna go and check some stock. Yeah. <laughs> We've got um, stores like are so we... big though, Wix, aren't they? That you just yeah. like you can, you? you can uh, bugger off. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. sorting out the tiles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, because we got like um, I've I've now I've now learned how to do like paint mixing and stuff like that, <gasps> which is fucking great. Is don't I, I... put it on TikTok, you'll lose your job. No, yeah. that is very true. That he is, got I hired did... that guy, didn't he? By like a big paint company, didn't he? Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I learned how to do, uh, I learned how to use like the, there's like manual machines and then there's automatic ones, which are mm. what we got in our store, but it's fucking great. I was like, a, that's a whole new thing that I now know how to do. It's a, it's a strange experience. Yeah, make me a nice tartan paint, please, sir. <laughs> tartan? <laughs> fucking tartan. That was always. You said the, you know uh, how to things. do it. <laughs> uh, have you got any of that tartan paint? Have you got a long way? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone, yeah. someone from Those another store. Offs. Someone phoned uh someone from another store phoned up ours and asked someone for a uh, like we do like plumbing stuff mm. and they asked for a, a straight elbow pipe. Yeah and an elbow <laughs> obviously like, is bent yeah, and they're yeah. just like oh I can't find a straight elbow pipe like that was pretty good. Yeah, you get, yeah, admittedly, you... like I used to work in Wix and one of my housemates used to work in B and Q and they were basically Ooh, over the road no. from each other. <laughs> and so we used to play a game. Where like we would literally send people over to each other <laughs> <laughs> to ask for ridiculous shit like right. that, like That's the long great. way, like yeah. And then it, like-, like when we got together that evening back at home, we'd be like, "So did that guy come in and ask for such and such?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was imagining it more of like you guys being on the off side of the road, being like that uh, Tony and Ezekiel video, where it's like, "What's your name?" <laughs> <laughs> Tony! <laughs> Fuck you, Tony! <laughs> it was more like Scrubs, the uh, the two doc- the doctors and the surgeon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't remember the way the way the song goes now, but hey, you know yeah. what I mean. Nah, that's it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so how's the new year looking for you guys? New. The same as the rest of the year, really. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that said, I've picked up... Dwindling a- hope? Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be in this. Hanging on by a thread. <laughs> we're gonna be back here Star Wars next film. year. We're gonna be back here next year in exactly the same situation. Yeah, oh, <laughs> but we'll all be. We'll all look like we're in fucking Mad Max. <laughs> yeah, just... But for some reason, Zoom still works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. I feel like um, we, we I mean, sort of was... ended like our last episode on this same note. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like, what's it, what's it going to be like? It was like, probably more of the same. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard like, to say, isn't it? Like, I mean, I'd like to, I like to think that um, you know things will get. I want to <laughs> not people, but just things will just get fucking done, and and we'll get more towards a uh, a slightly more realistic future. Yeah, I think the problem is with COVID, the thing people forget about is what's happening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With uh, Brexit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, how convenient. Because that's Every still year. on the table. Allow me to uh, just grab my tinfoil hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't it, isn't it surprising that, was it Boxing Day, the news came out that they'd reached a deal? Yeah. And it's like no like, uh... one is watching the news on Boxing yeah. Day. Nah. I thought, and, wasn't, it, wasn't it Christmas Eve? Maybe it was Christmas Eve. It was either yeah. Christmas Eve, yeah, because because Boris Johnson and I, I put out a tweet about it. I screenshotted the headline. He's a fucking cunt. <laughs> I was like, he said, um, "This is my Christmas present to the nation." Yeah, fuck fucking you. asshole. 
and I, I screenshotted it and like tagged it with like, it's not a fucking Christmas present. It's the least we expect. Yeah. Like <laughs> it, it's not a present. Like, no, I mean, yeah, apparently yeah, yeah. by all accounts, it's not a fucking, it's a shit present. It's like a lump of coal. But, do you want um, to, um, in the new year, do you guys want to play a game? Um, which is, uh, <laughs> getting a human shit and seeing how far you can throw it close to the number 10 door. <laughs> but you're on the other side of the gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd go well, wouldn't it? I like it's that. proper, proper law shit. It'll be like, uh, what's that fucking Celtic game where you get the really heavy thing? You stand with your back to the bar and you've got to try and lob it over oh. the top. Oh, I was going to uh, say like those saber, gates are pretty, saber tossing or whatever. Those, yeah. those gates are pretty tall, aren't they? There's, there's a bit the high, dwarf, yeah. Dwarf tossing. Dwarf <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> But they, they're gated, so it's got like <laughs> it's, grabbing it's children got, as they run like, past and lobbing them over the gate. <laughs> it's got space between the gates, and maybe you throw could, through that way. Yeah, you, if you're you, really you. accurate. I don't want to. I don't want to give away my tactics, but <laughs> not like I've done this before. It's a plan. We'll have to be socially distanced, of course. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. you know, we'll, throwing we'll shit. You, we'll treat you like a game of darts. You know, you step up to the hockey. You you be respectful to the person if you're behind them, and you know, our catapults are uh, legal. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, no, any any form, any form. It's, it'll yeah. be like uh, those Red Bull races they do at Hyde Park, where they create create sort of like uh, I don't know those, vessels like, to travel yeah. in the air. Oh god! But unlike the darts, you won't get put off by the shit smell if someone farts. <laughs> yeah. It's in my hand. hand. Yeah. Like, oh, what is? Oh, right. Yeah, I'm holding oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this? This anyway. <laughs> Who is I this? Didn't, this? I of course, of course, we mix it up and we want to try our own. Maybe uh, freeze it. Maybe so freeze it. Your, your, your paint cons- mixing skills come into effect here, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you got which consistent? Which 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 is more? Who's got the most aerodynamic shit? <laughs> try yours. <laughs> we can no, turn yourself. up all with like white lab coats on and glasses. Like we're doing an experiment. Leave us alone. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care if you're the police. <laughs> One of us has a clipboard to make it look official. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Very official. <laughs> just we'll wear, we'll wear masks stuff. and everything. Masks <laughs> mainly just to cover our identity. <laughs> Tape measure. Tape, tape measures as well. Uh, could you open the gate? I just need to... <laughs> no? okay, I'll, I'll sell just, them. Just feed I'll sell it them through. in the hardware store. I can, I yeah. can provide us all with tape measures. That's it. They're not going to open the gate, so you just poke, feed it through. <laughs> yes, just say that. Come on. I feel like we'll be shot or something. <laughs> it's quite All right, possible. Debbie Downer. Jesus. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Met do they shoot people who jump over the fucking underground fences? So yeah, they're yeah, going to shoot you for throwing shit, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> it's just a, yeah. It's an overreaction and all honesty. Yeah. But whatever. Pull. Oh my eyes! Foiled by my own constituency. <laughs> Foiled by my own consistency. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, right. There's the episode title. Oh, God. <laughs> oh God! Right. Um, are I we think... recording? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh God! I feel like we should carry on this conversation on a, yeah, on a, on a I, uh, after I think the podcast, podcast. We've got to a point of like we've talked about the year and everything that's happened in the year, and we got to the like a Charlie like, so Brooker what's... of white, like <laughs> <laughs> what's next? And we're talking about throwing shit at the prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a brilliant uh, no, place to end his door. Excuse I me, I'd never throw it at a person. That's just You're gross. Right. <laughs> sure. Oh, I don't know. I'm on a different level. <laughs> oh, I'm right. a much lower level than you are. <laughs> oh God! Oh, right? Cool. Yeah. Well, it's been wonderful having you yeah, guys on. It has been amazing. Um, it's been great. We've talked about everything and nothing. I love it. <laughs> and, uh, and everything that's exactly... and nothing is, is the podcast that the four of us would do together. <laughs> yeah, everything and nothing. I like it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's been great. And yeah. as, as Ant said, we'll go over onto the patron and do all the patron stuff now. So, uh, so yeah, thanks for coming on, for starting off 2021 with us. Oh, thank you for having us. It's been <laughs> a long yeah, time in the making. Yeah, it? It, was so, it was so it's easy. All it's all it, <laughs> has it been about two years? Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was literally like we were going to just record something with Greg quickly and it was just kind of like, yeah. fuck it, Joe, you're busy. No, cool, tomorrow? <laughs> Love it. Not a yeah. single thing. Yeah. I can't believe I can't believe I was awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I'm glad yeah. that you were. Thank you. So, no, it's been uh, it's been absolutely wonderful to sit down with you guys. Yeah, uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. It's uh, thank you for the invite, and I guess now that leaves us to invite you onto our podcast. Uh, uh, we'll yeah, see how long that takes now. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs>
<laughs> I've been holding on to a geese drop for two years. Oh, so yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got, I've, I've got notes on my phone. I've got, I've got one. I've got one, and I've had it for two years. <laughs> I very I nearly, I very Actually, no, nearly I've got, got a second one. I was just going to send it into you via text. Yeah. Then oh, I, I mean, that's not a problem, but I can understand if you both want to present your geese droppings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, actually, that's I do have two, and one of them is from my first marathon, which was 2017. Ooh. So that, yeah. <laughs> Must be when I did mine. <laughs> yeah. So, like a good two and a half, three years, you've been letting that brew. Hence, <laughs> that one's not even Hester. a very good one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing now. Go. I yeah. know <laughs> oh, it was, you know. I'm telling you, the best, the best source for geese droppings, and I don't want to sound like a creep when I say this, but kids, I'm telling you, they've got no, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They have got no volume levels on their voice on public transport. They yeah. will say no anything. filter. No, nah, not at all. Yeah. yeah. I love yeah, it. it's cool. I don't love kids. Right. So that <laughs> <laughs> I've already got enough of that work. <laughs> there's not what? no I, no. They uh, there's an unfortunate joke at work that I'm a paedophile. <laughs> Excellent. That is, unfo- that, is I- that, is <laughs> that is unfortunate, mate. Yeah. Well, no, like after so our, what you just shop, said, that's I a know. very unfortunate joke. I, uh, I can't believe, I don't know why I, d- I decided to talk about this and not keep it quiet. I can um, cut this out of the podcast if you really sweet. want. Sweet. No, basically, our store is right next to like a boys' school. And yeah. one particular day, whilst they were all in uh, having lunch in the playground, I was looking out the window. And <laughs> someone, someone said to me, Oi, pedo, what are you doing? And I was just like, no, nah, I'm not looking at the kids. And I was like, oh, I'm not a pedo. And then someone said, that's what a pedo if I would say. And just since then, I can't shift it. So hey, at least it wasn't like, a PE hey. lesson, yeah? That's true. It's very, very true. Could have been, right. could have been let terrible. Let, I'm going to let, let Tom try and end the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's cool. And on That's that bombshell. I, and on that bombshell. Uh, I've been Tom. I've been Ant. I've been Greg. And I've been Joe. Hey! <laughs> See you next time. <gasps> Bye! Bye! Bye.